guys, CXP EAS05 here. <clears throat> and yeah, before we get into that premiere, yeah, with Slight Sanity 7 premiering Saturday night at 8.30, so we're pretty much gonna do what we're gonna do. So this ROM hack came out like around about a few days ago or something like that. Yeah, I feel like it came around like a few days ago, so. So, yeah, pretty much all that, that really matters there. So, what I'm going to be playing right now is. We're going to do this new ROM hack of Rockman 2 Basic Master. This came out like a few days ago or something like that. I played this game, I speedrun this game before, and I absolutely love it. Love this weapons. Taking all the robot masters from Yeah, basically taking all the robot masters from various Mega Man games, so So yeah. Got all these robot masters from different Mega Man games. Yeah, I was kinda of... Yeah. So anyways. So they came out this one came out like around 2017 which which is around version 1.0. Yeah, this came out with version 1.0 in 2017. This version came out in 2021, which is three years ago. I'm playing on version 1.2, which is the latest version, just like we're in Rockman 6 UH. Although, uh, the speedrun weapon looks kind of useful for this one, so... We're gonna see... You're gonna see me through... Combat every single... Single enemies that are not from Mega Man 2, you know? So, let's get started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! So yeah, we got these different robot masters from various Mega Man games. Seeing all these robot masters that are not from Mega Man 2, they're taking one from various Mega Man games. We have Snake Man from Mega Man 3, Plug Man from Mega Man 9, Tornado Man also from Mega Man 9, Flame Man from Mega Man 6, Gemini Man from Mega Man 3, Stone Man from Mega Man 5, Blade Man from Mega Man 10, and Ring Man from Mega Man 4. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start things off, and I'm going to start off with Ring Man. Okay, so... This thing changes everything, because with this type of pattern there, you will see. Yeah, these these ones, they're looking mean. Even the health bar refills up very quickly. So... So uh, yeah, as long as we head up this ladder. All right, so see you hit those, you hit those question blocks there with those question mark things. It'll give you item what what kind kind of item it gives you. It ranges from health drops. Yeah, so from health drops, energy weapons, including extra lives and E-Tanks. And look at this. Item 1, you get something from, you don't know what item 1 does, but item 2 is really useful. And don't use item 3, it's a suicide weapon. Because if you do use that, it'll cost you lives. 
using item three will cost you lives, which will end up refilling all of your weapon energies upon death. And also, what's also cool is that you start off with the energy balancer as well. See those? Like with the mouse there? And you see my mouse. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, you see that type of enemy before from Mega Man 10. Quite funny. <laughs> so now we made it to Ring Man, so. So Ring Man, he is tough. Uh, his ring will follow you anywhere else. Yeah, he'll go into that big circle there. See? Make sure you get away from his rings there before it can before he can hit you. Yeah, don't get too close to Ring Man, because you'll take damage. And there you go. That's one. Yeah, Mega Man changes colors when you see the rain try to dissipate there. That's why Mega Man changes colors. So now we got Ring Man's weapon. So now with Ring Man out of the way, we're going to go to the next robot master, Stone Man. Okay, Stone Man, this one is going to be a quick stage. Yeah, you'll see this enemy before from Mega Man 10. See, what this ring does, it, if you fire out ring boomerangs, it shoots out, shoots out like this. Ring weapon is OP. It can follow the enemies everywhere. See, it follows the enemies they can pretty much catch them. They can catch anything. Those ring ring weapons, they they can catch anything. Like, see, it can hit the question blocks for you. It's that easy. Yeah, see, this stage is fast because of that increased speed. See, like the penguins come out, they can catch anything. And there we go, we made it to Stone Man. So, Stone Man, he's weak to Ring Man's weapon, which deals only three damage. But he can throw, he can throw huge blocks at you, which is, and there you go, that's Stone Man. Since so Stone Man is weak to Ring Man's weapon, which deals three damage, it can only take like three damage for the, for shot. Now we got Stone Man's weapon. This is one of the most powerful weapons. So now, with Stone Man out of the way, we go to the next Robot Master, Gemini Man. Gemini Man stage is absolutely beautiful. You gotta see the gimmicks. This one is made with ice physics there. See what those eye enemies are from Mega Man's 9 or 10? I believe it's from Mega Man 10. Now I'm gonna take this path because it's a lot quicker. See those enemies from Mega Man 3 where you used to remember? 
This one's here for its revenge. Okay, we got that. Alright, cool. I'm gonna keep on using Ringman's weapon because Ringman's weapon is so good. It's so OP in this game. Yeah, if you cannot get up to the top, so all you gotta do is use item 2. Look at that, you can control anything. And about Stone Man's weapon, if you try to do something whenever it try to get, tries to hit you, if it gets too close to you, you can just use it like this. Like that. It'll destroy it. Yeah, I can use it like an earthquake. It takes up a lot of ammo to to use this weapon, but make sure you don't waste your wep don't waste your stone man's weapon. Okay, this one needs to go, so So we made it to Gemini Man. And there you go, that's Gemini Man. He's weak to Stone Man's weapon. Five hits and he's dead. So now we got Gemini Man's weapon. Pretty weird looking, but it's pretty good and useful. So that's three robot masters down with four to go with five to go. So now we'll go to the next one, Snake Man. Which is also from Mega Man 3. Yeah, Ring Man is from Mega Man 4, Stone Man is from Mega Man 5. Yeah, this one's really tough. All right, there's some Yoku blocks there. Take those extra lives there. All right, watch out for these ones. You don't want to get hit by those or they're going to push you back. They're going to push you back really hard if you get hit. And you'll take, you'll end up taking a lot of damage. That's not fun. See, these rains over there, because this one is not instant kill. They, they only do one damage for that. Yeah, if you see him, see those red flashing at him, that means you'll end up taking one damage. Gotta be careful with your. Gotta watch your health bar as they slowly drain. Yeah, I gotta watch your health bars as they slowly drain. Oh, oh, that's something you don't see very often. The enemies can also drop E-Tanks on this one. Instead of just extra lives. Because it tells you... Because those items are just basically random. 
You'll see what Snake Man goes down. <laughs> you see what happens there when we. Let's see what Snake Man's trying to do. He's trying to shoot the real Mega Man, but we ended up cloning ourselves. And boom, which leads him to his death. Because all invincibility, which leads to Snake Man's death. So with Snake Man out of the way, we only we only took down half of these, one half of the four robot masters with four to go. So next robot master we're going to next Flame Man from Mega Man Six. This one, this stage you have to go through a maze. This is where you have to go through this type of maze before. And like that, just got an E-Tank. This one, you have to go through this type of maze. You have to figure out this path yourself there, because... See... Whenever where you shoots out, whatever this type of enemy shoots out, it shoots out like a. See, whatever you do, it shoots out a ball. What this Gemini weapon does, it shoots out like this. Yeah, a ball like that. See, whenever you want to split it into two, be invincible, you do like this. Yes, see like that. But however, you are on a limit. You're on a limit for this one because it, yeah, because you it only slowly drains one by one. That's how it goes there. Whenever you're using Gemini's weapon, but with and with Snake Man's weapon, Snake Man's weapon is very cool with this one. You see something like a rapid. Like a rapid gunshot, like a rifle weapon, like this. Yeah, it, uses, it looks. Yeah, see, it shoots out very fast. You, you can also use a rapid fire, like like a semi-automatic rifle. But what's also cool about it is increasing speed. Using this one increases your speed. See? How cool is that? Increasing your speed sounds kind of fun. Yeah, but you only, it only takes away half of your energy there. Because in order to increase your speed, however, it takes away half of your energy. Which sounds like a total waste, but but it's it's the best weapon of all. It also uses it as a speed. You can use it as a speed run weapon. Okay, so now we got Flame Man. Ah, see, whenever you try to attack him when he's in uh, uh, green mode, you can't hit him. With Flame Man, that's his special ability that you just saw. He's weak, but he's weak to Snake Man's weapon, which deals a lot more damage than you think it would. Flame Man's weapon looks kind of cool on this one. You have two options to do this one, because... So, with Flame Man out of the way, we have to go to our next one, which is the Special Robot Master from Mega Man 9, Plug Man. The only thing with Flame Man's weapon is very cool. This one, it drains so fast. The green invincibility mode drains, it lets you drain very fast. It drains 
a little faster one by one, but with on red attack mode, it see how it slowly refills. It can refill up this energy very slowly. See, once it reaches full, like that. And the one, the one you can use, what's also cool about Flame Man's Weapon, you can also shoot out triple flames like this. Like that. It fires out three flames instead of one. Look at this, see? The enemy will, the enemy will experience a ton of damage. Very quick. Like that. Another change with this one because so those quick laser beams, they're not instant kill, they do a lot of damage. They deal a lot of damage from those ones. See, like that. See, like that. Like that. Getting the extra life is very tricky because it requires you speed to, to get that. Yeah, that's why I had to E-Tank on this one, because, like I said with those quick laser beams, they're not instant kill. They do a lot of damage. See, like that. See, I get more. Extra lives and E-Tanks. Now with Plug Man, if you try to attack him and does uh, multiple damage, but you attack one of the flame. See? See, attacking him with this one with the invincibility mode on. Look at that. If you let it drain all the way down to zero, it disappears. It automatically disappears until you refill it. Now we got Plugman's weapon. So Plugman's weapon is very cool. So, so you'll see, you'll see that later on. So, with six robot masters down, with two to go, we're gonna go to the next one, which will be Blade Man. This stage. This stage looks very cool, but with this one, if you see, if you use Plugman's weapon, Plugman's weapon is very cool. It shoots out like this. Yeah, it shoots out like a thunder beam with the with the twin spark voltage behind that, which is very cool on this one. Yeah, there's two ladders on each side there. Yeah, see, like this. <laughs> and there's another question block there. First, watch this. <laughs> That's... 
<laughs> yeah, you can see that enemy. See that mid boss that just destroyed that very easily. We're gonna watch that slowly refill until we just full. Yeah, you don't want to take as many damage. As it, you don't want to take too much damage because because it'll not be fun. Right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch over to Plug Man's weapon. Blade Man, Blade Man is really powerful, so. Yeah, you don't, if you see him trying to do that, just don't move there. Yeah, Blade Man is really powerful. You'll take a ton of damage. Yeah, that's when you start to take heavy damage from from Blade Man. That's not fun. It's so not that Blade Man is down. So with Blade Man down, we're almost there. We got one more Robot Master to go. And that's also the one from Mega Man 9, Tornado Man. So in Tornado in Tornado Man stage you can but this one where voice is air man. Right there. I can just and simple and easy. Just yeah, there's a lot of spikes you have to go through. You gotta be really cautious of where you're going. There's some spikes in the area. Yeah, there's some spikes. You don't want to go through this one where. With that is instant, that's instant death over there, and you. You also don't want to fall into those nasty pits, or you don't want to fall into that nasty pit over there, which of course that instant death as well. Now we got through this stage very fast. Now we're gonna use Blade Man's weapon. We're going against Tornado Man. And there you go. So, so Blade Man's weakness is plug. Blade Man's weakness was Plug Man's weapon. And Plug Man's weakness was Flame Man's weapon, and then finally Tornado Man's weakness is Blade Man's weapon. Sorry.
Sorry about what just happened. So, anyways. It's time for the victory lap. Yeah, his wire UFO sounds a little weird, but it's, it's, oh, right. Wiley won. Yeah, uh, just now we got every single weapon there. There we go. There we go. So with with uh, Boy Man's weapon, this is what it shoots out because it's a very powerful weapon. You use it like this, like that. It can slice every single anim enemy into pieces. And when Tornado Man's weapon uses like this, but you're also on a time limit as well. So watch this one. Yeah, it also shoots out a spear like this. Yeah, since you're on a you're on a limit as well. Just like with Flame Man's weapon. one go yeah this one's a fake one one of them is the real one and easy just take him out take him out with blade man's weapon Bobby says one boss's weakness was blade man's weapon Bobby too here we go This one, I oh, would highly use Wingman's weapon. You can either use Wingman's weapon or Flame Man's weapon, whatever you choose. I'm also gonna refill, refill uh, Blade Man's weapon because I use it so much. There we go. Gotta watch out for that spike ceiling. There we go. There we go. I get even more lives. Look at that. Yeah, being in this one while with enemies in there, it's just way worse. 
They'll take the worst damage. Okay, there we go, we made it. Now, why are we two boss? This is something you might be familiar with Mega Man 8, so. Might be familiar with this boss from Mega Man 8. Beat him easy. Now with Wily 2 out of the way, we got Wily 3. This is a very tricky one. He uses a lot of jumps. Yeah, beating this is not really easy. Yeah, you can't get the extra life when it's falling down. But yeah, you got this is also a maze where you had to go through this one. Double wires makes it two. Get to go fast. Uh, doing that is not a good idea. Watch out for that and. Here we go. There's a secret boss for why we stage three. This is a this is a very special boss. It's a Pokemon battle. Surprise! It's a Pokemon battle. Now yeah, watch out for these ones. Yeah, he's gonna send out two Pokemons at a time. Cause... There you go. Yeah, the Wily Stage 3 boss's weakness for those two Pokemon, they're weak to Ringman's weapon. So we took them out pretty easily, so very well played. Yeah, so this is why we stage four. Yeah, this is why we stage four if you're wondering.
and boom. This one, you gotta make a jump for it and pray. So now we got the ex-wife and we're gonna go to the Wily 4 boss. What is that? Ah! Is that base EXE? Boom. He normally takes like three damage in order to swap or something like that in order to get him, so. So here we go, the moment we've all been waiting for, why we stage five. That's right, it's our boss rush. Now we go to our first boss, which is Stone Man from Mega Man 5. Here we go, next one. All right, we got Tornado Man from Mega Man 9. Okay, we got Snake Man. We're gonna do this like what we did before. Clone ourselves. There we go. Okay, we got Gemini Man next. Weak the Stone Man's weapon, like we did before. So now Blade Man is next. What we did before is weak the Plug Man's weapon. Oh, that's a big mess. So... Alright, so we got that. So now we got Ringman next, and we got Ringman's weakness, Tornado Man's weapon. Okay, we're gonna switch to Ringman's. There we go. Okay, right, we're gonna refill Stone Man's weapon because because it's running low. Okay, Flame Man is last. Ah, he's doing that again. Sorry about what just happened earlier, folks. Uh, my phone camera shut off on me. While I was in the middle of getting to the boss there, and so, anyways, 
We just made it to the Wowie Stage 5 boss after the boss rush. So, with that being said, let's get right into this one. So... And boom. Oh, I have to edit everything once this once this thing is done. So now I made it to why we stayed six. There we go. This one is very treacherous. Yeah, this part is absolutely treacherous. All right, now we made it to the final boss. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, this is this is why we capsule two that they should have made. Here we go. Okay, he's got three phases there instead of two phases. Oh, we can also use his secondary weakness. And that's it. Oh yeah, when when using Stone Man's weapon, you can it automatically drops items like if you only drop a small amount of items, that's a small health drives and small and small weapon energy. That's the only exception you're gonna get. So yeah, that's basically why that's why they call it uh, Rock Band Two uh, Basic Master. So yeah, and. Um.